morning again. And uh, as we mentioned uh, during the week and even in our little talk this morning, one of the customs that developed on celebrating this feast of the precious body and blood of the Lord was to have a procession. Uh, now it's not intimately connected with the celebration of the Eucharist, but it had uh, a certain sense of reverence and devotion that grew out of a practice, as uh, you may know, developed in the Middle Ages in the 12 and 1300s, of uh, emphasizing with the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist the importance of honoring Jesus and uh, the procession would also bring uh, the community out into the fields. But what they did was to establish different altars at different places where the procession would go. And out of this developed a practice known as benediction, which later on was transferred back into church, into the building, and today benediction services are still held. Well, this morning, to honor an earlier tradition, we will do the celebration of the benediction ceremony outside, uh, keeping the original idea somewhat in mind. Now, uh, so all of that is a little bit of a background. Many of you are familiar with the benediction service. Uh, I suspect most of you are not familiar with it being outdoors, but if you were, let us know. You're really older than I thought. But as it uh, is, we uh, are going to do the two traditional hymns, uh, a cappello, that'll be fun, but we'll do the best that, that we can honoring the Lord on this day. With me, uh, of course, are our deacons uh, and, uh, well, other helpers in the Eucharistic world, Sister uh, Elaine and Joe, whom I'm sure you know and who uh, often do not get the praise that they deserve for the help that they do in celebrating the Eucharist. Obviously, the plane is also concerned about our celebration this morning. All we will still need is a train for those of you who are used to our outside services. With all of that background in mind, let us now honor and praise the Lord for the gift of the Eucharist, for Jesus' presence with us. We begin with the traditional hymn, O Salutaris. We will be using the uh, language foreign to many of you, but the official language of the church, Latin. Fittingly, as we honor Jesus, may we uh, take a moment to pray again as uh, Jesus has taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus, you are indeed the bread of life who has come among us. You strengthen us, both in body and spirit, to 
carry out the message that you taught and the ways that you lived. Hear our prayers this day as we bow before you, thankful for your abiding risen presence with us, always as our guide, savior, and support, always willing to assist us regardless of the travesties that may come our ways in life always there to strengthen those who are the poor and needy, always those who seek to follow faithfully the ways which you taught and which you lived, you who are the bread of life, indeed who have come down among us and dwell with us, supporting us in all our ways, guiding us ever to the Father, to your life example, Hear our prayers which we make in your name to God our Father and through the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The second uh, traditional hymn Traditional prayer now offered after the benediction, the divine praises. If you know them, pray them along with us. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels. Now often we would reserve again the host in our tabernacle, but uh, this morning we have taken this special blessing of the Lord upon us. You probably noticed that the deacon put on my shoulders what is known as the humoral veil, perhaps an, 
religious reminder as we live in our days to be careful of the things we touch. And so the, I'm gonna make a joke here, but it is uh, interesting. The humor of Baal protects the monstrance from any diseases that I might have on my hands. So just be careful. Well, we thank you for being with us. And this is a wonderful practice, uh, certainly that has developed within our Catholic tradition and um, praying before the Blessed Sacrament, often in silence, is a wonderful way to remember that presence of the Lord, particularly with each of us through the virtues and gifts of our baptism. We uh, conclude with a hymn which I think, think most of you would know. Uh, almost all of you will know the first verse by heart. I often challenge the deacons to to know whether they got the second or first uh, correctly. Maybe you do. So let us conclude. Holy God, we praise thy name. Thank you and have a good day. And um, I always have these asides. Uh, the Holy, Holy, Holy is a wonderful song because the range is very short. But if it's like me, you pitch it high, then everyone else has to struggle. But if you're a baritone, you can hit it at that tone and everyone can join. So practice the hymn at home this morning. Have a good day. Thank you for being with us.